insurance on your stocks. Like, is that amazing? I mean, I'm sure all of you right now have insurance on your stocks in case they go down to protect yourself, right, in case of a giant collapse. So you can sell for a higher price and lock in guaranteed returns. Right, you guys are all doing that? I thought so. So those are called put options. Options, there's a long definition here. Here's what options are. Victoria said it earlier, options are stock insurance. Literally. Put options are stock insurance for people who buy stock and call options are insurance for people who short stock. Literally. So without going into too much complex about option theory, and I know I'm losing some people, it's okay. Some people love it, some people are like, dude, this is so far beyond me. I'm about to show you what stock market insurance can do for your portfolio. A put option is blah, 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 blah. It's a way to protect your stock at the price that you're willing to sell. That's what it does. A put option will give you the legal right an option to sell your stock at whatever price you want. Yeah. So imagine if you bought one higher than you bought the stock for. We'll get into that. Five minutes. All right. A call option. Blah, 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 right. A call option. In Jeremy terms. It makes you money when the stock goes up. Covered calls. We just talked about it. They're really great. So what we're talking about now is what's called a protective put option. And I know a lot of you are like, I don't even know how to do this. I don't even know what you're talking about. Bro, you are a wizard and you're casting a spell. Take a deep breath. It's okay. I'm giving you 35 years of stock market knowledge in an hour. There's other ways to learn this. And I'm not selling it to you. It's free. It only takes your time. If you want to pay me for your time, you can. But if you want to just learn it for free, you're welcome to. A put option is literally something that you buy on shares that you own that give you the right to sell that stock at whatever price you want. Even if you don't own the stock, you can still insure it. Meaning you can buy insurance on something you don't even own. If you think the market's going to crash, if you think everything's going to go down, and you have the ability to sell it at a higher price, you can buy an insurance contract on it. And if you buy enough insurance contracts on it and everything crashes, you become a liquid multimillionaire. So I think that these are important to learn. Because you can either protect your position so that you don't lose money, or you can buy things that are going to go down anyway to make more money, or you can do both. It's up to you. There's a lot of ways to make money, and they're all really easy, actually. So when should you, as a resident of El Paso, buy a put? Ideally, the number one goal in time to buy a protective put is at a price and location where it's mathematically difficult, hard, or impossible to lose money. All right, so Dean buys 1,000 shares of DraftKings at $15 in January. What happens in February? Big sports thing, anyone? Super Bowl, you think DraftKings, a betting site, goes up? Ah, you guys don't want to hear about that. So, <laughs> when Dean buys DraftKings at 15 bucks, expecting it to go higher because of the Super Bowl, and on February 21st, DraftKings is trading at $20.54 a share, five dollars a profit. Dean buys a March put option at 17, two dollars higher than he bought the stock. What is Dean's risk? Oh, interesting. He bought an insurance contract on something higher than he bought the stock? Here's How many of you all understand this? This is critical. I, I want to make sure that you guys get this right now. This is. Here's the stock chart. So this is a visual image. I know this doesn't look like a lot, but just if you need the numbers, write the numbers down. This is a big deal. If you bought a stock at 15, and notice, do you guys see how it goes higher? Raise your hand if you can see how it goes higher. There's a blue arrow, and then a bunch of weird looking things, and then it goes higher. All right? Once it goes higher, you can literally, literally buy an insurance position higher than you bought the stock. So if the stock goes to zero, you can sell it for what price? 
the price that you bought the insurance at. Question, does anyone else in here ever have insurance on anything? Car, house, health, home, anything? Yeah. Do you have insurance on your stocks? No, oh, why not? Because you don't know how. I can teach you for free. I don't have, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm only selling my book. <laughs> That's it. This is a real, this is a very, very real, very real example. Another company, everyone ever hear of Shopify? All right, let's say you buy Shopify at 120. When Shopify goes to 170, you buy an insurance contract at 125. This is a real-time chart of Shopify. So when Shopify crashes, it plummets. It drops like a stone in water. You have the ability to do one of two things. You can sell your stock that you bought at 120 at 125 when the stock is at 40. Fun. Or you can just sell the insurance contract. Which means if you don't own Shopify and you think Shopify is going to crash with the entire U.S. economy, you could just buy insurance contracts and they will go up as the stock goes down. So wait a minute, Newsom, are you telling me you can make money if the market goes up or down? Yeah. And it's legal? Yeah. Now, does insurance cost money? Of course, we all know that it costs money. What if I showed you a strategy where you can buy the insurance for free? <laughs> 